welcome back to my channel. Yes, it is day five of Happy Horror Queen. Woohoo! So I will be posting every day in October in case you're new. So make sure you're subscribed because I don't want you guys to miss anything. But anyways, for today's video, I'm finally doing something special effects. Kind of got to start getting more creepy things. Things, you know, even all fun and playful. But let's get a more creepy. But today's video is a slit throat tutorial. Uh, this is great for Halloween, definitely. Or it's just great to freak people out, you know. But this is a really fun look, as you can see. It's very bloody. Uh, I don't know. I like it. Um, anyways, without further ado, let's just get into the tutorial. Alright, first order of business. Have your neck, like, cleaned off, as you can see right here. Now then, we're going to take our scissors, and we're going to press them down as hard as you can onto your neck. And then we're going to... Slight. No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't even want to finish the joke. Don't do that. Please don't. That's not safe. We're taking Vaseline. That's what we're doing first. So take some Vaseline. I don't know why I sing so much lately. And we're going to kind of put it on those hairs on the side of our neck unless you don't have this issue. But yeah, just kind of put it down on those because it's going to hurt if latex gets stuck in your hairs. But anyways, now that we have our Vaseline down, taking liquid latex and putting it in a cup or whatever you fancy using and we're going to make like the slit neck thing or like the shape of a little slit on our necks I'm going to do it like this just kinda getting the base down you know you can draw it out first I just didn't I don't know why I didn't but I didn't now we take toilet paper tissue whatever you like to use I'm going to kinda make little strips or a strip out of it like this and then, oh, that's dripping. That's not very pleasant. Anyways, I'm taking a strip like this, and I'm just going to, like, lay it out on my neck. And then wherever it stops, kind of rip it off there. And you'll see in a minute how this is going to work. Be very careful, by the way, because I'm about to use scissors. We'll first put the latex over the... But yeah, get the latex all over the tissue, and that is the first part. Very okay. carefully, either you can take scissors or me. I'm using something for my wax carving set. Taking this carving tool, and I'm going to tear up this latex very gently. It's on your neck, it hurts. But tearing up the latex like this, ever so gently. Because I feel like this gives a much better like, slit throat effect, or much better effect. And it's better to do this, honestly, when it's not dry. Because once this dries up, it hurts so bad trying to tear this up. But as you can see, I'm kind of just tearing it up, shaping it, and then... Oh! Oh, that choked me. Oh, well. Um, yeah, just kind of tear it up. I'm going to add a little bit over here. Okay, now we have the prosthetic right here. As you can see, it's a little off, but it's okay. Now I'm taking my concealer. Um, you don't have to use concealer. You can use, like, foundation if you want. I just like concealer. And I'm putting it on the prosthetic to color it because it makes it more realistic. I kind of just dab it on. I don't know why I do so much singing lately. It's really weird. I don't even know. All right, that's good enough. Kind of blend it out as best as possible. Anyways, now that that is done, I am taking my Ben Nye color wheel. But I'm just using this. I'm going for this red right here because this thing needs to be red. So on the prosthetic, I am coloring it red. You can use a sponge, a brush, whatever you like. I just like to use my finger, but color the prosthetic however you feel like it. On the inside part of my neck, I am taking like this dark purple right here, putting it on the inside part of the prosthetic like that. I know it doesn't quite blend, just wait, you'll see. So let's get this purple in here. Ugh, it's so difficult. Well, it's not like difficult, difficult. It's just like, ugh. Anyways, now we have the purple. I'm also taking some black, and I'm going to kind of blend that in there, too, because usually when you put the darker colors in the wound, it gives it a lot more in-depth effect, but color it how you want, like that. Also, you want to blend the color out a little bit, like, want to take, like, a little bit of red and kind of just do that number, be my guest, but yeah, color it how you want. Alright, I know, this looks really bad right now, but my favorite part, the blood. Taking some blood right here, take a little bit, put it inside the wound. This is a thicker blood, by the way. So make sure you are using that and applying it inside the wound. Alright, here's how our cut looks now. Last but not least, I'm taking a liquid blood. And I am going to dab it all over the outside of the prosthetic, over the thicker blood, because I feel like it gives it better texturing and coloring. Yeah, kind of just putting this all over the place. Now also I'm going to be trying to add little blood drops going. Oh god. Maybe not that far down, but, you know, add little... Great, yeah, blood on my shirt. Ignoring that, um, add some little drops of blood going down your throat. 
you know, different lengths usually are better. Oh, this thing will get off. As you can see, you might want a towel because it's literally going to go down my shirt. But you guys get the idea. Alright, guys, that is it for today's video. Here's the completed look, though, as you can see. You know, kind of like that. Kind of good, yeah. Um, Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it or if it helped you out in any way. Also, comment down below what you thought of this tutorial and also what you plan to do or be for Halloween. You know, I will have um videos in the future of Halloween costumes and ideas. Also, hit subscribe. I make new videos every single day for the month of October. Happy Horror Queen, as you all know. Also, check out my Instagram at HorrorLover13 because I am posting on there every single day as well. Special effects ideas in case you need to, like costume ideas or anything. Definitely a good place to go. My website, queenofhorror.com, where I post everything horror. And I do have a section called Happy Horror Queen on there, so go check that out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So until tomorrow, bye guys! Remember, always say goodbye.